Hey guys, Brenda, by the way, that audio guy. Today I'm going to show you how to change the tempo of a piece of audio using Studio One. So I've got here a couple stems of a song, and they were originally at 105. So I'm going to select them all, right click, and then right here, type in 105. So I already have done that. So now whenever I change my song's tempo, like right here, it's going to adjust accordingly. So it was originally at 105, let's bump it up. or slow it down. So Studio One does a really good job. It's really transparent. I'm actually really impressed with it. On other DAWs like Logic and Pro Tools, you have to tell it, okay, this is a polyphonic, this is a monophonic, rhythmic, whatever, and then it analyzes per track. But this one, I feel like, is does a great job at just telling it what the original tempo was and then just changing it and it again it sounds transparent obviously the more far up the scales you get if you go really fast or really slow you'll start to get artifacts because that's just near impossible to avoid but giving like 5 to 10 bpm either way i feel like it does a really good job portraying that so this is really amazing if you've got an external piece of audio that you want to add to your project but it's not the same tempo so let's pretend that this original piece was 105 so it may say that on the file name or another project or whatever. And our new project is 132. So all you'd have to do is click and drag that in, right click and make sure that says 105 and it will adjust accordingly. So you can virtually use any loop that you want. You just have to know kind of the starting tempo of what it originally was recorded at. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and sign up for the email list where I will send you exclusive content that I only send to the people on that list. And also head over to itsthataudioguide.com. And I'll see you guys soon.